to fix yellow or jaundiced skin in Photoshop. Uh, so as you can see here with this image, we've got the little boy uh, and he's holding his uh, newborn baby brother here. Um, but the, the baby's skin is slightly yellow uh, kind of jaundiced in the image, so their skin tones are really clashing. Uh, so we're going to go over how to fix that in this tutorial. Uh, notice the before and after here with baby's skin, and then we'll move on and I will show you how I edited this image uh, with this really nice, warm, uh, creamy tone. So this is going to be our final edit here. Uh, and let's go ahead and just start from the beginning. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do before I ever, uh, or before I make changes to the final image, I always go in and edit the skin tones. So we're going to do that first. And to combat some of the yellow that we're seeing in baby, I'm going to click on this little half circle or you can go to layer, new adjustment layer. Okay, and I'm going to start with hue saturation. And you can name that. Um, I'm just going to keep mine as is. Okay, right here where you see the master panel, click on it and go down to yellows. There we go. And I usually like to, now when I'm making changes, you'll see it applies to the entire image. We're going to change that in just a moment. So when you're looking at the changes on the image, just pay attention to what it's doing to baby. Okay. Uh, so I like to change my hue uh, usually to around, let's see here, let's go to negative 11. And I'm also going to take the saturation down. And again, I'm just looking to see what's happening to baby's skin tone. So. Um, notice how it's affecting all of the yellow or the, the warm tones in the image. I'm going to keep that right around 50. Now, if you decide it's too much later on, you can always adjust the layer opacity. Now, again, this has affected the entire image. So what I'm going to do, the layer mask here, the little white rectangle is already selected. Remember when working with layer masks, white reveals and black conceals. So I am going to press Control or Command I to invert the mask. So now it's filled with black. It's concealing the entire enhancement I just added to the image. So I'm gonna click on my brush, bring white to the foreground color. Make sure your brush opacity is at 100%. And I make my brush larger and smaller with the left and right bracket keys. And I'm just going to paint this over baby. Okay. So you can just click on the little eyeball here just to see a quick before and after. I think that's a good start to fixing baby's skin. Um, there's still a few more things that we can do. Okay, I'm clicking on the half circle here. This time I'm going to click on levels. And right here on the RGB, uh, panel, go ahead and click on it and go down to blue, uh, the blue option down here at the bottom. Um, the, uh, now, the opposite of blue when working uh, with your levels panel is yellow. So if I want to remove some of that yellow, I'm going to add blue to the image. So I'm going to click on my middle slider. Okay, notice what happens when I move it to the left and the right. Now, the right, I'm adding yellow, the left, I'm removing it. You can really overdo it, so you just want to move your sliders ever so slightly. I really like it at 105 here. And you can also work with the uh, highlights. If I move the bottom left, I'm going to cool the highlights. I'm going to move that in just, again, ever so slightly. And again, I'm going to press Control or Command I to invert my mask, and I'm just going to paint that on to baby. Okay. Sometimes, uh, after removing the yellow, your subject skin might look a little bit pale. If you have that issue, uh, here's what I like to do. Again, I'm going to click on the half circle. We're going to go to hue saturation. I'm going to bring up the saturation quite a bit here, and we're going to change uh, what the image looks like in a moment. Uh, it's not going to be quite so saturated, but bring up the saturation. Mine's at uh, plus 39. Okay, 
And now I'm going to change the blending mode. Right here where it says normal, I'm going to go down and click lighten. And I can still play with the opacity. I think I'm going to keep that right at 30%. And again, we're going to control or command I to invert the mask and just paint that on baby's skin. And again, I may want to go back and change the opacity. Let's see here. I'm going to keep that right around 20%. Okay, I really like that. So let me just group these real quick so you can see. Um, what we had done to baby skin. Here's the before. Baby skin is really yellow, especially compared to his brother that's got a really nice clean skin tone. Now, after the changes that we had made, they're now more matching in skin tone. Now, I could lighten baby skin a little bit more. It looks like he's a little bit shadowy. Uh, in fact, let me do that real quick here. I'm just going to... Notice how I'm bringing up the mid-tone slider to the left. Usually makes the image a little bit hazy, so I like to bring my darks in to match. Um, plus 8, 109. I don't have a specific uh, recipe. I just move in my sliders till I'm thinking it looks uh, about right. And I'm going to press Control or Command I to invert the mask. And again, just paint that on baby. So that's looking really nice. And again, I may want to adjust the opacity a little bit here. I'm going to keep that right around 60%. And I can just bring that down into my group that I had created, again, the before and after. It's looking really nice. Uh, so now we're going to go in and make the enhancements to the image. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to edit skin tones and get rid of the yellow or jaundiced skin in your subject. Uh, go ahead and click on the top left-hand corner of your screen to view how I edit this image. Thanks, guys.